What is undeposited funds in QuickBooks Online? Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Undeposited funds in QuickBooks uh, gives people lots of trouble because they just don't seem to understand it. So I'm gonna walk you through this video, what it is and how to use it. Okay, so undeposited funds is basically a bank account that QuickBooks has. Now, take this scenario, you have a business, you work in a business, whatever, you get payments throughout the week and you have to record those payments against invoices in QuickBooks. But let's say you only go to the bank maybe once a week, uh, maybe twice a week, whatever it is. You don't do remote deposit, you just go to the bank, you make your deposit, and so on. So undeposited funds is a way to essentially not overinflate your checking or your bank account in QuickBooks until you physically take that deposit to the bank or you physically make the deposit in the bank. So for example, let's say your checking account balance is a thousand bucks and you get payments of 10,000 bucks. Well, you don't want the $10,000 to be in your checking account showing that you have that money in the bank when you actually don't. And so undeposited funds is kind of a safety valve, a way to uh, set that money aside until you deposit it to the bank. Okay, so let's go ahead and take an example here. Let's say that we receive a payment we're going to go up here to new and we're gonna say receive payment. And we're going to pick a customer. Uh, let's say that Amy's Bird Sanctuary, she has an invoice outstanding, 459 bucks. Open balance is 239. So we're gonna say that she paid by check. Uh, we got this in the mail. And you can put a check number here if you want to. Undeposited funds is a deposit to account. Now you can change this. You can say checking, uh, but if you are not going to deposit it right away, then I recommend you leave it in undeposited funds. So we'll say, we'll check off that invoice. It'll be 239, the open balance, amount to apply 239. So at this point, we have an option. We can save and close, we can save and new. Uh, we are going to save and close because we're going to leave this in undeposited funds. And again, let's say that you're recording multiple payments in this one, you know, as you're sitting down and doing QuickBooks, it could be 239, someone else paid 500 bucks. You want to make sure that that deposit that hits the bank, if it's a total of a couple different deposits, you want that to match what the deposit looks like in QuickBooks. That way, when you go to reconcile at the end of the month, very, very easy to do. But if you, in this example, if you say, okay, we're going to put this to checking and do 239, and then you do the next one and it's 400, and you do the next one and it's 1,000, and so on, when you go to reconcile the account, you're going to show one deposit on the bank statement for the total of all those deposits, but in QuickBooks, you're going to show separate deposits. And that's going to make it very, very difficult to reconcile your bank account. So that's why I always say, put it to undeposited funds, and when you make the deposit, make that deposit in QuickBooks match the actual deposit in the bank. Okay, so we hit save and close, We've got undeposited funds. So now we have that there, and it's just sitting in this undeposited funds. This is a bank account. It is uh, an asset on your balance sheet. So what we want to do, we want to say no. So now you're ready to go to the bank. Uh, you're ready to make your deposit. It could be remote deposit, it could be anything, but you're ready to make that deposit. So you go up here to new and you go uh, over to here to bank deposit. And you're going to see here that Amy's Bird Sanctuary shows up. Check $239. And there's also a couple other ones. So if we were depositing these all at the same time, the total is going to be 230152. So it'll show in QuickBooks as a deposit on this date of 230152, and it'll show a bank deposit on the bank statement of 230152. That will make it easy to reconcile. But if you don't do it that way, it's going to make it very, very difficult to reconcile. Okay, so up here, you're going to choose the account. We're going to put it to the checking account, the date 4-16-2023. We have these checked off that we are depositing. We're not adding any additional funds to this deposit and we're not taking any cash out of the deposit. So the total is gonna to be 230152. So if we hit save and close, it's going to now move it from undeposited funds over to the checking account 
and all as well. Very straightforward to do, but also very easy to mess up. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.